You know, I sort of felt that with all the videos I've been doing of all the Cinderella's, that a little game like this should probably also be, like, you know, reviewed. Since I learned of it. Overworld by Rasteroid. Innkeeper. There you are. Wake up. I need to change the sheets. You do remember how to move, don't you? There's a fish. You should let the innkeeper change the sheets. Press plus hold anything for help, good luck. So yes, if I press and hold, this is a bed. You can sleep here to restore health. Well, rounded traveler. This is a sign. Read for useful information. Hearts are life. Don't run out. Eat and rest to recover. How to play. And all slowly stuff. So keep your hearts above zero. Tap yourself to rest. Tap the map to move. Tap twice to climb hills and get off water. Tap items to use them. Use force as cover in fights. If in doubt, run. Explore dark areas of the overworld to find quests. Follow the red compass to finish quests. Press and hold on anything for help. Which is this, a dagger. A basic weapon does pretty good damage. And actually click on these tooltips if you want as well, so... Weapon. Weapon appear in a second inventory slot, they often increase attack power. Many have a secondary trait, like pushback or range. Some heroes cannot pick up long range or range weapons. Bladed. This item has a sharp bladed edge. Some heroes refuse to use bladed weapons as it violates their code of conduct. Early game. This is an early game item. This item may be useful to um um so useful you keep or use it all the time, but even so later game items tend to be more powerful. And coins are used to buy goods and services, save up for shop visits. Tools are a wide range of fast effects, pick a good one. Alright, well. Let's just play through the tutorial and I'll explain what this game is basically all about. So, we'll go here. Go down. Bad kitty, please stop! The innkeeper's under attack! I'm under attack! Cat. For a scratch is quick and painful. Has one health, has half an attack power. It's got the reflex trait. Most beasts take a turn to become aware of a hero. The reflex trait lets them react immediately. Ambush. Most beasts that are spawn hidden, uh, spawn hidden are happy to stay still that way until revealed. Those with ambush on the other hand attack as soon as they can. Accurate. Accurate beasts never miss even when attacking a target smaller than them. Beware, accurate attacks combined with piercer venom. Domestic. Domestic beasts often live close to humans. They can be found in farmers' fields and huts. Farm animals start out friendly, but have a short fuse. Those in huts guard, uh, are guarding animals, so be careful. Hates water. This beast hates water and cannot enter water tiles. If you retreat into water, then turn and fight, they can't fight back. So, there's some things about this guy. Now, no by the way, I have a piece of fish here. So, I click on the uh, cat, I can basically give it fish. And now it's tame. This beast is tame and friendly. It follows you, if it can, see where you are going. It attacks anything it sees, um, sees it attack you. Tap to swap positions. Thank you. Why are the animals angry? I'll open the front door, take this key, and visit the side room. I'm just gonna rest, heal up a little bit. Grab the key. There's some seeds, by the way. There's some bread, there's a cow. Alright, so we can grab ourselves a weapon here. We got ourselves a spear, the axe, or the bow. So, bow shoots neighbors with sharp arrows. It's a ranged weapon, so ranged weapons let you attack your, any target next to you. 
This includes flyers and dozers on difficult terrain. Contact effects are avoided. Smaller targets may still be missed. There's an axe. Axe. Hit your target and our neighbors. So it's got cleave. Cleave weapons attack in a wide area that hits creatures on each side of the target. They are good at dealing with groups of enemies. There's a spear. Adds reach. Pierces armor. So armor pierce. Attacks usually have to damage reduced by the defense of the target. Armor piercing attacks first reduce the target's armor by the amount of, of pierce. Pierce itself adds no damage. So basically this will pierce through armor a little bit. It's a mid-game weapon, so this is a mid-game item. More powerful than early game items, not as strong as um, items found in late game. Take your pick. So let's just go with um, a bow. Take a weapon, leave your dagger behind. She'll explain stuff to you. Your bow can hit enemies that fly. Three grim eyes turn to you. Alright, so. Bird. Defending her nest. She flies at you. Alright, so let's just look at the train here a little bit. So, we have deserts. This is a desert. Stay too long and the heat will damage you. This is grass. A lovely meadow. Nothing to worry about here. This is a forest. These woods give a boost to defense. And I know that they like to fight each other and this like cat sees like these like, you know, birds as like food more than anything else. Now, these guys are flying, so I can actually talk for the bow right now, so... Boop! And I can shoot you. And... I can go here. A voice speaks to you on the wind. Well-rounded traveler. Guan Yin. I am near. Explore the wilderness around you. Butterfly. Pretty. Brush them aside. So you're the teeny creature. Teeny creatures gain benefits from being small. The first attack on a teeny creature by a larger creature misses. Huge creatures miss them twice. Teeny creatures are not hurt by pit traps. Peaceful. Peaceful beasts do not normally attack. Those with a short fuse may uh, change their mind if provoked. Peaceful is not the same as tame. Peaceful creatures don't follow the hero or let them ride. And flying. Flyers on the ground need one move to get airborne. Once flying, they cross terrain easily. Flyers get a free hit on targets without air defense. Creatures on the ground can only bump them aside. Alright, so we got some other stuff here. We got a rabbit. Rabbit outruns heroes, makes good eating. So it's got peaceful, reflex, fast, and coward, and domestic. So, coward. Cowardly beasts try to run away after they are attacked. This, not, um, this, does not, this does not stop them attacking before or after being attacked, unless peaceful. They can still attack if they can. Fast beasts take two actions every turn instead of one. Actions include movement and attack. So basically this guy takes two actions as opposed to one. He's domestic. Now look that up here we get like, our, like, you know, sun basically on um, building up. The hot sun can damage you. Armor makes it worse. Cooling items help. So basically, if you're like, you know, in the sun uh, too long, it'll basically damage you. So I can go like here. I took a, like a heat damage, basically. The cat saw like that, like, you know, fresh meat, went, you know, yum, yum, yum. Guan Yin, brave hero, our world needs your help. The birds and beasts are driven mad by magic from deep underground. Follow the red compass south to heaven. Find the gatekeeper. Alright, so, we saw our map revealed to us right here. And we have to get down here to heaven. This is a hill, it takes two moves to climb up. This is a mountain, impossible to climb up by yourself. This is water. Hard to get out of, bad for scrolls and heavy armor. It, cage, 
in case you can drown. Top gonna struggle up. Let me attack that guy because I'm basically able to. There goes the butterfly. Now I can also use a scroll bar if I want to just to show it off. So this is a free scroll. Freezes neighbors for free turns, water destroys scrolls. So it's tempting. Some items trigger immense interest in clever creatures. Curious beasts try to grab this item like it was food. If they succeed, they act very gleefully. As a scroll. Scrolls appear in a fifth uh, inventory slot. Scrolls are, are often magical and cast a spell when read. Tap to use them. Some heroes have weak magic and some are illiterate. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's just uh, cast a scroll. So note that basically when I like, you know, um, I froze this butterfly in the water, it went into the water and it died that way. And these guys can't defend themselves, so I can kill them. Alright, no going to water right here. I'm gonna try and get out, it actually takes a turn. Duan Yin, your journey begins here. Be brave, the world needs a hero. Lost my bow. This gate will not hold long. All right, so there we go. We went, we went, we won the tutorial there. Um, basically, it took us 52 turns. The difficulty was easy, makes sense. There's our what we encountered. So we got a bow, a bird, a cat. We encountered a scroll of ice, a butterfly, a veggie, a bird, a dagger. All right, so let's pick a color. Let's go with one bit, and we'll play with the boy next time. So there's the news, and welcome to Overworld by Red Asteroid Games. All right, so you basically saw the tutorial, which is basically the like introduction to this game. Um, well, I guess that's the story, right? The tutorial's a little bit different. So, a mini adventure game, easy to play on any mobile device, and now the web. Explore rich tactical play in short 10-minute sessions. Enjoy steady progress, unlocking an army of different heroes, each with unique abilities and style. Overworld is a traditional roguelike designed for accessibility and fun. Collect the tome of powerful magic as the wizard, dual wield weapons as the barbarian, mix spells and fly a broom as a witch, throw boulders and stomp critters as a giant, rob, steal, and hunt for treasure as a pirate, befriend fishes and flip your fins as a mermaid, drain the blood of your victims as a vampire, eat their brains as a zombie, bumble along and try not to die as a tourist. Many more, each with their own unique strategy and style. 35 heroes toll. For more information, go to the main menu and select Options Player Guide. For a deeper experience, try an Android. So yes, this was basically made by um, Rasteroid. And this is an Android game. I actually um, I found this game basically like... Um... Alright, so first things first, I actually found this game via Reddit. And I actually played it first on Android, because, you know, Android game. And I want to basically see what it's basically all about. And, you know, it's a fairly interesting looking game. So, I figured I should actually drop, like, a quick, like, you know, um, video for it. But here's a tutorial. So, hi, I'm Tinsel. Welcome to Overworld. Press and hold anything for help. Try it. And by the way, um, to the developer, whenever, like, Tinsel's basically talking like this, you really should have it, like, you know, um, it's tap to dismiss, like, the Tinsel as opposed to, like, move. This is like, you know, for immediately right out there, just, uh, you know, in this video, but whatever. So press and hold anything for help, try it. So basically, I can, like, you know, hold down on here. You have not yet explored this area yet, because, you know, whatever. There's a mushroom. Mushroom. Minor healing can give good or bad random effects. So it's edible. This active item can be consumed. Eating or drinking cures poison and often heals damage. Some heroes cannot eat certain foods. For example, vegans can eat meat. So let's just move around. Some he beasts hide. They appear when you bump into them. So we just bumped into a, a rat here. And God's annoying, like, you know, just barely moving like that, but whatever. So here's a rat. Harmless but crafty. Give him a swat. 
Your goal is to get past the gatekeeper. Thou shalt not yet pass. Prove thy worth with a quest. So you're the blacksmith. You have a weapon. Let me see that. Hey, that guy can't take your stuff. After him. Follow the red compass or box on your quest. Check the world map if you're lost. Tap these special actions. Tap away to close. The blacksmith. I can upgrade your weapon. Explore outside to find me some metal. You must explore to complete your quest. Alright, so. Attack lower. Where is your weapon? Because I don't have a weapon. Alright, so here's basically a hedgehog. Uh, a prickly ball. Try poking him from afar. So this guy's got spiky. And hates water. A base with spikes. Damages attackers that do not have longer range attack. Armor may help, but spiky fuses often have pierce too. So, you have to really watch out for this guy because... He's basically going to like, you know, damage you when you basically attack him. The good news is that he doesn't have armor, so I can attack him and like not worry about that, so... BAM! These hearts are your life. Eat food or tap yourself to rest. There's a coin. A single coin. You can carry, um, carry only three. Tap on M to use it. Maybe later. Pick up the green circle item drops the blue one. Tap yourself to go in and out. There's one. This will do nicely. I need two more. Coins let you buy stuff you can carry free. Oh, we got attacked by a cat. Tap damage to attack. Alright, so we can rest here. Nope, I want to fill up a full heart. It takes three turns as opposed to one. So the boxes can upgrade your um, weapon, explore him um, to find some in metal. There we go, we're done. Defense up! Forest covers add half a blue shield. Wow, there's a dog. This playful pup glimps right at you. It's a beggar, it's got domestic. There we go, this will do nicely, need only one more. I don't want to go to the narrative dog because basically it's hostile and it's got two hearts as opposed to like one. So let's go this way. I just go here, press and hold for more information. Ingot! A small hunk of metal, these blacksmiths want these. I'm gonna talk to this guy. A fine new weapon for you, good luck on your quest. So we just got ourselves a sword. A, da a powerful and damaging weapon, it's a mid-game weapon, as opposed to, like, you know, just a single, like, early game weapon. Let's go say hi to the dog. Good quest, now go talk to the gatekeeper. It says he sees me, but whatever. Blam! Blam! Dog dropped a bone, I'll note that the bone's also a weapon. Koopa effective weapon, dogs and wolves love it, so this can be used to, like, tame dogs and wolves if you want to. Alright, so Gatekeeper, truly dollar worthy. So there we go, we beat the tutorial. There's our encounters, we encountered a dog, we encountered a mushroom, a hedgehog, an ingot. Alright, so let's play for real. So I know that you can basically choose heroes from here. So let's see here, I don't think you can basically choose these guys right at the start, but let's see here. There's a dwarf. There's an elf. Okay, so I'm jumping at the elf. So, I'm not that each of these like, um, heroes have their own like abilities and stuff like that. So, the elf is basically keen eye but fragile. You cannot eat meat. Beware dark caves. So, each of these guys have like their own like, you know, benefits. So, like, there's the elf has high experience. So, we get more experience. We basically complete it, uh, you know, a run of them. We have a bow to start off with, we have charming, so your hero is ch uh, charming the beast. If they have an item or the beast desires, the beast does not attack, but falls as it's tamed. We got precise or accurate. We got match re resist, eagle vision, stealth, light soul, vegan, and, and fragile. 
So let's just try for an, a normal run here. Alright, so... There's a mushroom. Alright, so here's Beth. I seek the temple. Find it for me. Let's go explore for the temple. Alright, I got both, so we can basically fire this bird here. So, defending her nest, she flies at you. Bye bye. By the way, because I got, like, you know, keen vision. Whoops. Well, well, it's like, you know. I can see this guy. This guy's hidden, but, you know, he's basically, like, you know, not hidden to me. And this guy's not hidden either. By the way, this guy's got spiky, but because I got a ranged weapon. Nothing to it. There's the gatekeeper. Thou shalt not yet pass. Complete three more quests. I wonder, can I do this? There we go. Killing child of nature. Basically, I have like eagle vision here, which basically lets me see hidden stuff above ground. So I basically see like hidden beasts, I can see hidden traps, all very nice. Doesn't work in the case, but you know, you get the idea. Let's cut shrimp because I can. Keep searching in the wilderness and in caves everywhere. So, note this guy's basically tame, so I could, could like, you know, give him the cabbage. And tame him. How's that? I talk about a cat. Die. This guy wants a banana. The parrot. This annoying beast wants to be friends. It's peaceful, it's flying, pierced, short fuse, and it's curious. This beast is curious and playful. It prods and examines rudely. Any tempting items are grabbed and activated. This includes scrolls. Grumpy creatures attacked him on sight. Let's make her a friend. There's a fish over there. The temple is close. I can feel it. There's another bird. There's a, like a hidden rat. Wow, I know that this guy couldn't dodge me because I basically have, like, you know, um, precise. Our mushroom. Oop, this guy wants to, uh, you know. This bat, it sucks your blood to heal, so he's got leech. Basically, like, he'll heal when he basically attacks me, but I could give him a banana and make him, like, happier. So I got a happy bat. There's a butterfly. A squirrel. No squirrel. I assume that bat's eating something, by the way, because it stopped. By the way, I'll note the first quest here if like the developer's watching. This would be like a good pop up basically have like, you know, the temple's been sighted, but whatever. We're supposed to go here, so let's jump in. Your task is ended, take the reward and leave. So we can get ourselves a spear here if I want to. So, there's like the bow, but I could have a spear. Adds reach, pierces armor. So this has got like a, you know, pierce on as opposed to um, range attack. So long. This weapon is long, some heroes cannot use long weapons. Attacks do not suffer from contact effects. They can reach into bookshelves where small beasts hide. There's a monkey. There's a dead monkey. I'm ruthless. No time to get anything from the rats, because, you know, there's rats. And there's an angry cat lady! Cat lady. Throws cats at you. So it's a spawner. Spawner. This beast can create other beasts or items or traps. They may ha ha spawn on their own tile or nearby. Chickens lay eggs and spiders get uh, spin webs. Wolves and wasps summon their own kind. So attack! They spawn a cat! There goes the cat lady. There goes the mouse or the cat. So glasses allow you to see hidden beasts and items. Um, this is useful, but only really in case for me because I'm an elf, so you know. That's worth knowing. Basically we use more useful in like a cave. I'm not very good in case by the way, so I'm gonna avoid the cave. 
You can click on this globe uh, map here if you want to, so... Gatekeeper's up here, I went all the way down here. And that looks like a flower. Charms, plant eaters, and humans. I would actually like to get that, but oh well. There's a cutlery. Cuts like a knife and lets you eat quickly. Nope, probably a human went out to get that flower because it was tempted by the flower, so when I saw that flower, it's like, ooh, I want that flower immediately. And I'll note that there is, like, um, like you know, some heroes are sort of like that as well. If you play like a dwarf and there's, like, coins nearby, they'll always, like, go after coins, even though there's, like, you know, frets nearby. Sally, take me to Freddy. I fear it's gotten quite swampy of late. So here's a red compass. Let's do a follow of red compass. There's a snail. There's a dead snail. Oh, I can go in here. Eat and rest, enjoy your stay. Oh, there's the cat I tamed. So I can buy a horse. Oh, the cat found a rat. Poor, 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 poor rat. Oh, that's dangerous. This guy doesn't attack immediately, though, because he's hidden, because, you know, he's not, uh, a, 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 you know, an ambusher, but... Some of these guys can be very dangerous, these, like, Neanderthals and stuff like that, because they have, like, a very high attack and lots of HP and stuff. Oh, my horse got poisoned, because, you know, vipers have poison on him. But that'll basically heal him up right away. There's a leech. Ow. Please don't damage that guy. I guess the horse doesn't like garlic, so that's great. Home at last. I made it thanks to you. Yes, here's the bed again. This is a bed you can sleep here to restore health. No problem getting like, extra health for that, so it's nice. Thank you for escorting Sally safely. Here's a lantern. Lights, dark caves, and blinds hidden beasts. So it's got dark vision. Dark vision items allow you to see hidden things in dark maps, so basically like evil vision but reversed for like, you know, inside like dark places. Hidden traps and beasts become invisible. Hidden items are often found. So that's more useful to me than like, you know, the glasses. Thank you for rescuing Sally safely. Nope, I'm already swaps here. This is swamp, yuck. Mess takes two moves to, to escape, so as opposed to like entering, this is like an escape one that's basically a malice for you. I really should start making my way toward this guy again, because like, you know, we're getting really, really far away and that's very bad, so... Hmm. Oh, this guy's a tracker. Shooter. The blast of his gun may hit others. So I have to fight this guy here, I guess. Let's poison him. Oops, I killed my horse there, apparently. I got attacked there. Now that this guy is going to basically keep following because he's basically a tracker. Trackers try to hunt down the hero anywhere on, this, on the same map. They may be blocked by difficult terrain. So, very, very dangerous. We can wait here. Now let's fight him in the forest. Okay, drop a robe. Cools and hides you in the hot desert. So it's got cooling advantage. Cooling items stop damage from overheating in the de desert. Heat may still build up, but you know, while it's unspecy on, you won't like take any damage. So, hooray. It can't get waterlogged though, so it's difficult to travel in water with these items from those heroes. And it's armor, so armor appears in a fairy inventory slot. It often increases your defense. It can make you sink or overheat. 
does when it's like that does the opposite. Some armor has secondary effects like camouflage. Many heroes cannot wear armor. Our human. You can actually fight the humans if you want to, it doesn't really benefit you, but you know, you can. There's a scroll of wind, blows enemies away, water destroys scrolls. So I want to keep going up, I guess. Down it goes. There's a bird. Oh, this is a magpie. Magpie loves to collect shiny things. They're a thief. They're curious. I would like to have took my scroll, but took my weapon instead, which sucks. So it's flying away, a bastard. Unfortunate. This guy doesn't have a weapon to buy either, so that sucks as well. Oh well. Hopefully I can still complete my quest. And of course I, you know, went into the water by the way, so that means I like drop my scroll as well as like, you know... Put myself in a bad spot. Let's see what this does. So actually, like, dazed that guy, apparently. That's nice. Now, note by the way that these guys basically attack you before you heal up, so... I forgot this guy's range, so he's actually able to attack me before getting out of the water, but whatever. So, that's basically Overworld. Um, gives you a nice little, like, you know, ground of like, what the game's basically all about. The idea is basically you complete the free quest, you go to, like, the like, gatekeeper, and you basically escape, and, like, you know, that's basically, like, you know, a run. And this is basically designed for phones, this game, because, you know, it's basically a nice short run, basically, to play and basically do stuff. Now, it does have some weaknesses, this game, because it doesn't have a whole lot of quests just yet. Hopefully, the developer will, will work on that, but it does have lots of items, lots, lots of, like, you know, gameplay, lots of heroes you can basically play with. Hopefully, I especially found enjoying, and, you know, for the most part, take care.